As you can see, I probably love books just a little bit too much. I love Bible commentaries. I love Bible dictionaries. I love theology books. You name it, I love it. Devotional books, Henry Nouwen, to Scott McKnight, just to all sorts of people, N.T. Wright. There are all kinds of books on these shelves. I have devoured commentaries. I've been a student of the Bible for a long, long time, and I just really enjoy the ministry of study. And I would, I've just done a little bit of homework, a little bit of digging, to save you some work, to save you some time on knowing exactly which are the best Bible commentaries to buy and which series overall tend to be the better ones. So let's dive into the numbers. I've gone to bestcommentaries.com and scoured through all of that to figure out which series are the very, very best. So the very first thing that I've done is to go to bestcommentaries.com. And bestcommentaries.com takes a survey of people to rank commentaries from the best to the worst. And I've gone through all their numbers from the Old Testament books here, Genesis through Malachi, New Testament books, Matthew through Revelation, and I've gone through each one and compiled their scores, their ranking, in order to see which commentary series ranks the best on a consistent basis. And here's what I found. It's going to look a little crazy here, like a mad scientist has been working. But basically, we found that in the top five, we listed the top five rankings for each book of the Bible. We found that the word biblical commentary ranked in the top five 26 times. New International Commentary on the Old Testament ranked 24 times. NAC ranked 30 times. NIV application ranked 17 times. And last, the Tyndale commentary is ranked 28 times on the Old Testament books. And so these give you the average score. Obviously, the lower the better because these are rankings. So overall, the New International Commentary on the Old Testament ranked in the top two on the majority of the instances, on 24 instances in the Old Testament, which is really, really good. And that is my very favorite commentary series. If I had to pick one commentary series to own, it would be the New International Commentary on the Old Testament. I've used them relentlessly. I really enjoy them. And uh, the numbers here say that in second place is Word Biblical Commentary, third place Tyndale, and then NIV Application Commentary is, uh, is following up after NAC. So, you know, that's not exactly how I would rank it if I had to rank these. I would rank them New International Commentary on the Old Testament, New American Commentary, NIV Application, uh, Word Biblical, and then Tyndale. And there's some nuance to that depending on kind of what your level is of scholarship because Word Biblical is going to be a lot more advanced, a lot more Greek and Hebrew dependent than, uh, say, like the uh, NIV application commentaries. If you're preaching and teaching with no language background, you're going to want to look more at the NIV application at, and at the interpretation commentary. So I also ran some numbers on the most basic, more the, the more basic commentaries, the NIV application and interpretation, just to see which one came out ahead. And what we find is we kind of give the uh, best Bible commentaries scores. What we find in all of this is that NIV application uh, on average ranked 76.8 and the interpretation rank 73.5. So, and you're also going to see that the NIV application only had two times where it didn't even rank at all. It got no score, whereas the interpretation commentaries 10 times didn't get any score at all. So, interpretation is a really good series. I've owned the entire series. I've not ever owned the entire NIV application series, but I do like both. If I had to pick one, if I was just beginning, just getting started out, I would pick the NIV application commentary. If you are just straight preaching and you're just looking for a quick resource to get into preaching, uh, I would look at the interpretation commentaries. A lot of those are written by preachers. Tom Long wrote Hebrews. And so there's some, some really good commentators in there that are really, really helpful if you're preaching. But if you want to dive into some deep Bible study, if you know original languages, go with Word Biblical Commentary or uh, New International Commentary on the Old Testament. So how do they do in the New Testament? We have the same setup here, and we went through all of these different commentaries and the top five rankings for all the five, uh, 27 books in the New Testament. And here's what we found. There were some standouts. The New International Commentary in the New Testament, Tyndale, Pillar, New International Greek Testament, uh, NAC once again, and Word Biblical once again. And here's what we found. The uh, NICNT ranked in the top five 17 times, Tyndale 8, Pillar 11, New International Greek, 13, NAC, 7, and uh, Word Biblical, 16 times. So Word Biblical and NIC and T uh, rank 16 and 17 times, and if you look at their average score, they're pretty close. Uh, NIV, uh, I'm sorry, NIC and T is a 2.3 rank, and uh, Word Biblical is 2.8. 
Actually, what ranked the very best is the NIGTC, New International Greek Testament Commentary, at 2.30, just barely edging out the NICNT. Now, the problem with Word Biblical and NIGTC is that you have to really know original languages to really work those commentaries well. They're very technical. They are also amazing commentaries. And if you know original languages, even if you don't, you probably could squeak by with just some of the commentary information. But they're going to they're going to break down the verses by Greek phrases. And that's going to make it hard if you don't know Greek, if you don't know quite how to follow along with that. So my recommendation on New Testament commentaries is very similar to Old Testament commentaries, and that is this. NICNT, the New International Commentary on the New Testament, is the best series on the New Testament out there. Uh, for just the, the typical student of the Bible, if you want, again, uh, more basic study, go with the NIV application commentaries. That's really, really the way to go. Uh, the difference between NIV application and, and interpretation, interpretation, they're very, very brief. They didn't even rank in the Minor Prophets because they clumped all the Minor Prophets into two volumes. NIV application is going to give you a lot more information, a lot more in-depth. It's not going to be as cursory. So this gives you some guidance to see like which series really are the best. And if you look at bestcommentaries.com, they give you a little section kind of like this in the series um, button. I'm sorry. If you go under best and you go to top commentaries by series, uh, they kind of give you this, but it's really hard to follow. But what you're going to see is like what we said, Word Biblical has a lot of green. NICOT has a lot of green, NAC has a lot of green, and you know, you're know you kind of seeing the same ones over and over again. So these are really the best ones, and I hope that you'll really consider purchasing them. I put some links in the description to all the ones that we've discussed, the interpretation, NIV application, NICOT, NICNT, New International Greek, Tyndale, Pillar. They're, they're all really great series. I've used Pillar. They're wonderful commentaries. Uh, they're, they're really, really good. Some of them have been discontinued because of what happened with, with Peter O'Brien and some of his graduate students doing some plagiarism that then ended up in his work that he should have accounted for. And uh, so that those have kind of been out of print and they may be a bit harder to find and maybe a bit more expensive for individual volumes, but some of those volumes are just invaluable. His commentary on Ephesians is just one of the best. One of the ones not listed in here on Ephesians is awesome is Hohenner's commentary. Is really a phenomenal commentary as well. So hope this blesses your study. Thank you so much for watching this. And uh, we're going to do a video here shortly on Logo.